So the next thing I want to do is create a CSS document and attach it to this page. And I'm also going to uh, apply that Eric Meyer CSS reset um, and really uber basic uh, styling for this page. So uh, let me start by firing up a new CSS document. Here we go. Um, I'll, as always, save it. Uh, let's say style. And there we go. Looks good to me. Um, let me now attach it to my uh, document over here. Uh, let's see, attach style sheet. Let's browse for it, look it up. Here we go. Um, relative to document, yeah, that's right. We don't want it to the site root and start messing stuff up. Um, here we are, and I'm going to give it for the screen. Um, cool, very nice over there. And uh, what's really cool about Dreamweaver is that by doing that, um, when we go, well, actually, if we created this style sheet first, and when we were adding a new containers over here, you know, we would have got the cool uh, um, code hinting which helps, you know, uh, but we didn't, so we're going to kind of work backwards. Um, all right, what do I have? First order of business is, um, well, I have, all, <clears throat> I have all these elements. I should um, put them in here because this is going to be part of our layout. Um, cool. So I had container... Um, header. Mm, let's see, uh, photos. Oh, weather. Inform information. And I think the last one was just footer. Let's see, did I get that right? Container, header, photos, weather, information, footer. Beautiful. Um, all right, so that's my layout. But the very first thing I want to do oops, is add my reset. Um, so here, let's go CSS reset. Bam. And now let me go find that one, uh, what I'm asking you to uh, include in yours. So the guy's name is Eric Meyer, and he's got a CSS reset that is definitely um, one of the most popular to be use, uh, being used. So um, why do I say that? Because um, I think I, when I just recently Googled uh, Eric Meyer's CSS reset poll CSS tricks. And uh, yeah, here we go. And Chris Coiter, he did a uh, a poll on who uses what. And um, look at that. No, it's a twenty six percent saying what's a CSS reset. Interesting, but twenty seven percent of the people following him now, mind you, um, are using Eric Myers. So. And uh, it's interesting because I suspect that it says uh, a reset part of a CSS framework. And a lot of those uh, are using Eric Myers, or if you're using something like HTML5 boilerplate, it uses Eric Myers reset. So uh, this number could actually be underrepresentative of what's what it's actually being used in. So um, anyway, uh, let's actually find his reset. So here we go, Eric Myers reset 2.0 which I do believe well, I know is the most um, the most common one I'm sorry the most recent one so here's Eric Myers's reset and well we really have two choices over here you could you could get the regular one where you see what's going on or you get the minified version um, I mean Depending on where you are, uh, I mean, look how tiny this is, not even one kilobyte, the minified, but this one is a whopping one kilobyte. Yeah, I'm sure this is going to be slowing down your page tremendously. Um, what I'm going to do is just take the non-minified one because um, as I'm working through the project, if uh, if I get some weirdness where I'm expecting something to happen with my styling, and it doesn't. Uh, I want to be sure to kind of be able to visually see 
uh, what's going on. So actually, I don't even need this part over here. But um, of course, the CSS reset you want at the very top of your CSS document. Otherwise, um, this thing may reset whatever you have going. And um, there we go. Let's preview our document. Yep, absolutely nothing to see except the uh, title tag. So uh, next order of business, let's add some content.